Hello guys, this is Joshua Matthew. Thank you for coming back. If you are old here and if you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a flyer like this. Here, I'm going to use 4x4 four four inches. And these are the images I'm going to use in this tutorial. And here are the text. Copy the color code. Go to your solid color. Then paste it. Now go back to your images. Alright. Then position it to the way you want it. Then reduce the opacity. Thirteen percent is okay. Then apply layer mask. Select your gradient tools to blend it. Okay, it's okay like this. Then go back again, bring these images, then scale it out this way. All right, then rasterize it. Hold Shift Control plus U to desaturate. Then I'm going to use soft lights. Reduce the opacity small. What is okay? Okay, now apply select your brush to clean up this area. All right, now create a new layer, select your brush, then make it bigger. then use overlay then I'm going to position it over here all right then reduce the opacity little then I'm going to duplicate it This way is okay. Now I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll drag it over here. Then soft lights. Then apply layer mask, select your brush, then to clean up the line over here. Okay. Then copy your test. Ctrl C. Then select your test tool. Then I'll paste it, Ctrl V. I'm using the font popping. Make it bold.
group it all right then bring your church logo then reduce it then reposition it then duplicate it then highlight it copy your text then ctrl v to paste and apply character space if you want then I'm going to copy my test again. Select your test tool. Then I'll paste. Then I'm going to close the character space. Minus 60. Then I'm using this font Adventurer. Position it to your own desire location. It's okay this way. Now I'll copy this one, select my test tool, then I'll paste it over here. Then I'm going to change the font to popping. Then I make it bold. Reduce the size. And that is to align it so that they will be in right position. Okay. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl J to duplicate. Then hold your shift key to drag it over this area. Duplicate this one. Ctrl J. Then you drag it over this position. Then you duplicate this one also. Then you drag it over here. Then copy your test. Ctrl C to copy. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to copy this one. And paste over here control V now select the two to apply horizontal alignment then drag it up using the arrow key Okay, then I'm going to select this one and this other one, then you drag it here so that it will be in line together. Reduce the size for now. 
I'm going to shift this image back this way. Then I'll select this one and group it together. Now I make it bigger, then reduce it to small. It's okay this way. Then make it more bold. Then also this one, I'll make it more bold. Then I will change the color to orange color. Here is the code. Then I'll paste the color code here. Then apply the same thing to this one here. Okay. So this is what I want. Now, I'm going to drag this one back again. Alright. Then I'm going to scale this one out. So that it will be more bold. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring this brush. Then drag it down, position it this way. It's okay. Then draw a rectangle line over here. Then select this orange color here. Then go to filter, blur, the motion blur. Then drag it to your own position you want. It's okay. For me like this then copy your test and control V to paste then reduce the size Then bring the calendar icon here and reduce it, make it smaller, then I'll position it over here, then I'll go to image adjustment hue and saturation, then drag it to the white area, then OK. So this is what I have. Then I'm going to copy the dates. Then 
paste it over here then position it then I'll use my arrow key to move it up then I'll copy my test again then duplicate Sunday Ctrl J then drag it down then I'll paste your test Then I'm going to open the character space a bit. Then scale it out. Then use your arrow key to bring it down. All right, it's now more bold than before. Then reposition this one. Okay. Position it this way for now because I might apply changes. Then drag your line here. Then I'm going to apply this orange color. Then I'll copy the time. Then select your test to a paste. Then drag it over here. Then I like this area. Then make it more bigger. Okay. So I'll reduce the size. So it's okay this way. Then use your arrow key to drag it front or forward. Then I'm going to copy the location. Control C. Then I'm going to bring the icon, then reduce the size, and position it over here. Select your test tool and paste. Then change the color to black. Now control V to paste. Then reduce the size. 
the space I mean So this is what I have, then I will reduce the boldness. Then apply vertical alignment and group it. Now I'm done with this. So the next thing now, I will drag it up this way. Then the date, I'm going to reposition it this way. Then bring in this light flare. Then drag it in. Then rasterize it. Then change the blending mode to screen. Then position it to your desire. Then I'm going to blow it a bit this way, okay. Now I'm going to apply layer mask, select my brush, then to clean up this area. All right. Then scale it out. This way is okay. Now, what I'm going to do next. is to apply blending option to the test then shadow the opacity is 70 then the size you can see it so here are the number i'm using so i'm not going to touch any other thing then okay so now i'm going to copy the layer style then right click then i'm paste the layer style then I will also do the same thing here. I'll also do the same thing here. And the same thing here. So that is it. Then here again, I'm going to paste the layer style over here. So this is what I have. So 
so thank you very much for watching please remember to subscribe like and share